so students today's topic or today we will talk about management its meaning its different sense definition and features first we will talk about the management the meaning of management see management is defined in various terms in various sense and in various ways firstly we we have understand the management management is a thing or management is an activity to be to do or to be done the things by others means management is an art of getting things done by others firstly we will talk about the different sense of management first management as a process here the management is defined as a term of a process where the management involves different steps or different functions such as planning organizing staffing directing controlling and communicating to the people or communicating with the subordinates management is also defined as a term or as a sense of an activity management is defined as a term or as an activity as it involves various things to be done by others i have already told you management is an art is a art to the get the things done by others or done from the effort of others so management can be defined as an activity management can be defined as a discipline means management is just known as a separate discipline it is taught as a separate stream such as physics medicine and various other things engineering or technology management is also taught and also being getting a study as in different discipline as we have known various institution are here also in india which involve teaching or providing knowledge in the field of management such as iim iimt institute national institute of technology and management these are the institute which are separately developed to taught or to develop the knowledge about the management so management we can say that it's a different discipline or a separate discipline management is a system management is a system which coordinate between human and non human resources management is a system which manage or which mobilize the activities into action which mobilize all the things in an organization to be developed or to be done or to get the activities or to the goal of the organization be completed hierarchy of authority management is also defined as a hierarchy of authority as here We, there are various separate authorities authority of making decision authority of implementation of decision so management also makes an a, a hierarchy of the decision making or the authority such as top level middle level and executive level top level they make the decision middle level they execute the decision and the mid lower level which implement the decision or enforce the decisions social process management is a social process as management involves the things to make or to be done for the social utility so management can be defined as a social process at in involve human resources who are the social and he makes the goods and services are he the fulfill the goal of organization which are totally or closely related with the social utility management is invisible force we cannot see management management is defined as an invisible force we cannot see the management we cannot touch the management but we can feel the management only at the time when the old manager change with the new manager say old manager retires and new manager come new person come to manage we can then feel the the system of the management means the change in rule 
realizes that there is a management which exists. Now we will talk about the features of management. First is goal oriented. Management is goal oriented free process or activity. Management, whatever the things which is done by the management is just to achieve the goal which is determined by the organization. Second is group activity. Management is not performed for a single person, but management is performed by a group of persons for a group of person. Means management is the things which is done by the people to manage or to coordinate among the various people or the group of people. So that we can say the management is a group activity. This is not done by single person for a single person. Management is continuous activity. Management is a continuous activity time to time and day to day. And as per the condition, management has to change the rules, regulations and continuously it develop or continuously it impart the knowledge or coordinate between human resources and non-human resources to achieve the predetermined goal of organization. Human activity. Management as we have told, management is a human activity. Management is done by the person for the person. Management is done by the people for the people or group of people for the group of people. So that management is a human activity. Management is a social process. Management involves various things such as human bodies and non-human bodies to correlate to achieve the goal of organization. So it also known as a social process. Management is pervasive. Pervasive means which exists everywhere. So management is a universal. Management is pervasive which exists everywhere in each type of organization profitable, non-profitable, small organization, large organization, non-charitable organization, non-charitable organization, in each and every level of management also. Management exists. Integrated activity. Management is also integrated activity as management correlate human activities or human effort with the effort of non-human such as machinery, plant, capital, land, correlate or it makes a coordination or to ensure the effort of human activity to the non-human activity to achieve the goal of organization which are predetermined.